Good morning. <laughs> it's penultimate week. Week 23. So I've had a really good past week of training and I'm continuing into this week. This week is a lighter load. Um, I'd say half of what I did last week. And then next week I taper and then it's race day. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe it's right around the corner. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I, I've certainly had moments of doubt where I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do this. I still don't know if I can do it. And I guess that's the great thing about challenging yourself is to push to do something you're not sure you can do. So kind of, you know, I feel confident-ish with each of the disciplines. I'm sure the swim will be fine. That's not what I'm worried about. Uh, I'm, the bike will be fine. I have to take my bike to the bike shop. It's broken. <laughs> and I'm worried about the run. I'm really worried about the run. I've been really struggling from with my runs, as we know. So I'm really worried about the run. But, you know, it'll, it'll be what it is. So, just walk into the pool. Uh, I slept really good last night. Not quite long enough. I didn't fall asleep as early as I wanted to, but... Um, that's okay. It's a beautiful morning out. We're in the middle of a heat wave, so it was like 29 degrees yesterday. It was 30-ish on the weekend. And, uh, a little cooler here today. We got some cloud pushing off the ocean, but apparently this isn't going to last. It's going to get hot again, like, tomorrow. So, yeah, anyway, walk in the pool, do a little swim-swim session. Um, and then get going with my day. Oh, I went to the gym yesterday too at lunch. <clears throat> my glutes are really sore. <laughs> Not crazy sore, but you know, it's good. All right, catch up with you later. Good morning. It's about 5.45, Wednesday morning of penultimate week. Uh, I had a good swim session on Monday, or Monday, Tuesday. I actually went to the gym twice this week. My son came to the gym with me last night. I did a lot of walking yesterday, six kilometers. <laughs> and this morning I'm out on my gravel bike, out on uh, Sapphire, my Brody. <laughs> because I gotta take Ruby, my specialized, to the mechanic and get her cable or derailleur fixed because it's still broken. But I think the mechanic's there on Wednesday, so I'm gonna go by and see if, uh, they can get that fixed and we'll uh, go from there. I think, I mean, I wanted to get a full service done anyway, so we'll get there. Anyway, yeah, going over to Stanley Park. Go on the bridge and it's beautiful. And look, oh, cruise ship. It just missed a big cargo ship came under the bridge too. That would have been cool. All right. I'm glad I'm on my Brody. It's got lower gearing and I'm stiff from the gym <laughs> from Monday. <laughs> but uh, it's not too bad, just the glutes. All right, I'm almost at the crest and I get to cruise. Cruise ship made it into port. <laughs> it's name is Sapphire too. <laughs> Another cruise ship is here. I guess it's a long weekend coming up. It's pretty cool. 
God, it's so nice out this morning. I'm glad I'm coming out this morning. Apparently our air quality is supposed to nosedive as well with forest fires in the region. So it's good to get out. Plus I have to go for a short run after this. <laughs> All right, I'm almost at the descent on the bridge. I'm home. <laughs> All right, 22K. It is just seven o'clock, so I have just enough time to go in, throw my running gear on, go for a quick run around the block before I gotta get my kid out of bed for the day. And then the workouts are done for the day, which like I said, I'm happy about because it's meant to get hot. <laughs> so I'll be happy not to be out doing this when it's nearly 30 degrees today. Uh, riding a bike with low gearing up the big hills in the park and this 12% grade up to my house was lovely. <laughs> uh, you're not grinding, it's way easier. I mean, I kind of need it on this bike, it's much heavier, so it's nice. So uh, yeah, it was a great ride. Riding this bike is a much more casual affair. Uh, a little bit more slower than my road bike I'm used to, but um, it was great. I haven't been out on it in months, so um, yeah, that was good stuff. All right, catch you in the next segment. Penultimate week continues. Good morning. It's another early one. <laughs> uh, it's just after five o'clock in the morning, Thursday, May 18th. Penultimate week continues. I'm heading to the pool. Today I've got a 1900 meter swim, so not too bad. And um, later I have a run. I'm concerned about the degrading air quality here in Vancouver. <laughs> um, so far it doesn't appear smoky, like it's a bit hazy. Um, it's hard to believe that it's May and we're already dealing with, you know, what we're usually dealing with in July and August. So that kind of sucks. But um, anyway, I'll stop moaning <laughs> and head down to the pool. It is lovely. Birds are chirping, I love it. Uh, yeah, so 1900 meters swim. Uh, I am, s my legs are sore. My body is tired. Uh, I have been heading on my week workout so far this week, which is good. Um, but I have to like kind of keep things in perspective because I don't want to, you know, do too much. So, uh, We'll see how I feel. If I have a meeting tonight, so it shouldn't be too long. And if it doesn't get too hot out today, I will go running tonight. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, okay, I'm just yattering. I'll see you after, okay. <laughs> oh, I look good. <laughs> All right, 2000 meter swim, done. I had the lane to myself the entire time. That never happens. Um, I was talking with the lady at the desk, Kathleen. She said it's probably because it's a long weekend. It's usually kind of dies off because people are, you know, getting ready to do their long weekend things. <laughs> and she's probably right. And the swim club didn't show up today. So it was nice and quiet. So I did, uh, my plan said to do 1900. I just did 2000. So that'll be my longest swim now. Like the, ra like the race swim is 1900 meters in Lake. <laughs> so, um, I think next week is just a couple of shorter swims and then I have the lake race um, in a week. So at Elk Lake, I signed up for a 1500 meter uh, open water race swim, kind of like I did last year with before the triathlon. I think it's just good practice gets me out into the lake because uh, you know, just to familiarize myself with it before the big day. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'm gonna go home, make some coffee. Whoop, whoop. I have a meeting later tonight, like, but I only have one item on the agenda, so hopefully it'll be good quick. <laughs> and then we'll see how this uh, air quality holds out because I do have a run this afternoon. I can't remember how long it is, but... I think it's like at least an hour, so we'll see what the plan says. All right, so I'll check in with you later. 
good morning. It's Friday morning. Uh, it's uh, Friday morning of penultimate week. It continues at 6.30 a.m. And uh, I was up super early this morning. I'm supposed to be going to Vancouver Island today and I don't want to go. Uh, I was hoping the pilots would go on strike on uh, WestJet and they didn't. So I'm kind of just waiting to find out if my brother's actually going to come down this morning or not and my mom's husband. And if they are, I mean, that's fine. I'll, uh, I'm going to pick them up at YVR. I have a ferry reservation for late tonight. That means I won't get into the island until like 11. <laughs> yeah, and I was up at 3.30 this morning. So I'm gonna have to nap today if this is gonna happen. So I thought I'd get up and do my brick now and get it done and over with um, so that I can still get my workouts in and then uh, see what happens. So I'll update you. <laughs> The next time you see me, I'm at the airport or on a ferry, you know where I'm going. If I'm napping in my bed and happy, <laughs> that's the outcome I'm hoping for, but it's fine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna continue on. And uh, it's another gorgeous morning. Like, look at that, sun's up. Big cruise ship just came in again to the port. I mean, I mean, it's stunning and it's nice and quiet. All right, see you in the next one. I'm out at YVR, <laughs> so we're going <laughs> and it's all good. I've made peace with it. Um, I had a really good brick, I had a really good run and I uh, felt strong and confident. It was great. Um, I'm just, I got here about, I don't think the plane lands for like another t almost 20 minutes, so. And then they gotta like wait for their bags and everything. So um, I'm just gonna wander around, maybe get a coffee, maybe a snack. And uh, then I'll head back up to the gates. So I'll check in later. All right, I think the plane has arrived a little bit early. I just got a phone call from Jeff, but uh, he hung up before I could answer. So anyway, I'm at arrivals. So we'll see. We should be coming like kind of through this area, I think. Not sure. For the first time in my life, I'm the first car off the ferry, <laughs> like on the big ferry. We're just rolling into Nanaimo. First off the boat, Jeff, Gord. <laughs> well, maybe second. The guy beside us is slightly in front. That was cool. All my life, never been on the this position. It's awesome. Very exciting. All right, we got what 25 minutes in front of us to get the keys, and then we're done. Good morning, it's Saturday morning. Uh, I'm back in the ferry lineup to head home to Vancouver. I just came from my dad's house. Um, yeah, it wasn't easy. Um, my dad died last fall and 
I wasn't close to him. But uh, he left me some stuff in his will, so I went to go get it. And I got things like, you know, his cowboy hats and I don't know, I tried to find pictures. The pictures are all missing, it was weird. Um, I got the dishes he wanted me to have. I don't even know why I took half this stuff. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Like, I got no room, but I'll, I guess I'll sort it out. I don't know. I, got, I took his hat he had since he was like a teenager. I think he'd be happy that I had it. Anyway, um, yeah, so I got a car full of crap and I have no room in my house for crap. Uh, so it's, I'll figure out what to do. And, you know, I can always donate stuff if I don't want to keep any of it, but you know, I'm, It was very overwhelming in there too. There was shit in every drawer. You couldn't see a surface. There were cabinets full of stuff. It was a memorial to his Mary that she died probably six or eight years ago. Her makeup was still sitting in the bathroom, like on the counter where she last put it. Um, and all her clothes were still there, everything, everything. I think he kept everything he ever made, bought, you know, throughout his life. The garage is full, the sheds were, I didn't even go into the sheds. Like, it, it, it was overwhelming, the amount of um, stuff. Anyway, um, looks like we're getting ready to load here, so I guess I'll uh, sign off. I didn't take any video there. Maybe I should have, I don't know. I didn't even think of it and I didn't take any pictures. I, I think I, I'll come back. I think I wanna do one more kind of tour through the house and I'm not kind of pressured. I only had a couple hours this morning because I had to get back to the ferry this morning. So um, I think the saddest part is, <laughs> is that I've lived really close to him for a long time and I never came and saw him. So that's, you know, that's what I'm dealing with. Okay, I'll talk to you. Okay, I'm better. <laughs> uh, we're just getting into Horseshoe Bay. Got probably another 15 or 20 minutes before we dock, but it's really nice out. And I was just kind of sitting upstairs with too much on my mind. So I thought I'd just come for a little walk outside and it is incredibly beautiful. Even the wind is warm. Let's see if we can get a few good shots. <laughs> Not at the front of the line today. <laughs> coming up and around. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm feeling better. I uh, <laughs> kind of had a little bit of a breakdown on the ferry there. I think people were, I was trying to be quiet, but I think a few people were a little worried about me, but I was okay. I actually wrote a poem. It's just, it was basically just brain dumping because I don't know how to deal with this kind of stuff. I really don't. I think I'm doing pretty good, but you know, it's not easy. And other people's stuff, like, oh my God, it's really giving me a new perspective on stuff. Like the stuff we own, what we do with it. He kept everything, every, every you know, there's shit in every drawer. 
you know, broken knives left in the box, couldn't throw it out, so it's still in the kitchen. Like, I grabbed a kitchen knife, it was pretty sharp, it looked like maybe a favorite, I don't know. Uh, there's just all his, he was a hobbyist, you know. Like, there was all his leather making setup he had, but the house was in total disarray. Like, I don't ever remember it looking like that, but it was just, there was just stuff everywhere, like absolutely everywhere. And the pictures, I don't know what's going on with the pictures, they're gone. Like all the pictures that were in frames. He was such a picture guy and it was all gone. Like none. He had one picture of me hanging up. And that's it. So it tells you a lot. There's a lot on my heart. But, uh, yeah, it kind of has given really, really good perspective on stuff. Like, why we have what we have, what we do with what we have. Like, he kept everything. Like, I don't, there was closets and closets and closets. Full of clothing. Like, I know this is, my channel is all about my training and my triathlon training, but this is like, also my life. <laughs> and, you know, every, we all deal with this kind of stuff eventually. But uh, it's given me a perspective on the things we own and the purpose it serves and what happens to it all. Like it's just all of it's gonna just get dumped or charity, like it's just chaos. And there was active rodent uh, infestation, you know, mouse droppings and everywhere. Like me and Lena dressed her in the bedroom, like he'd, they'd gotten into, his drawers and stuff like it looked like he'd been sleeping in this other room though like uh, not in his master bedroom but um, it looks like uh, he'd been sleeping in the other room because it was pretty and shockingly there wasn't a pile of crap under the bed I was almost because I looked under the beds to see if I could find pictures and I, there was nothing and I was shocked and I was looking around for his black leather vest and I couldn't find it anywhere so I don't know maybe I don't know Jeff was like, well, maybe he got rid of it. I'm like, he didn't get rid of anything. Like I quit counting the closets full of clothes. There was at least six. And there was a whole walk-in closet full of Mary's things. Like her makeup was still sitting on the bathroom counter. Like it's so sad. Let's look at the view instead of me being sad. Anyway, um, yeah, we're getting close to docking here. It's very pleasant out here on the deck. And I'm so close to home, so I'm really happy about that. Like, I just gotta, like, basically get off the ferry and drive for 10 minutes and I'm home. So, thrilled. Lots to process. I'm gonna have to go back. I can't say there's much else in that house I want. Like, I took his hat and a shirt with his name on it. And I took the one where he'd cover up his work patch for the GoPro shut off. <laughs> I took a, sh a work shirt with patch where he covered over the work like logo and but he still wore the shirt and it's you know uh, and I liked it because it had something he did to it uh, uh, so I kept that and I don't know like jacket I don't know there's stuff it's cowboy suit I think I said that earlier tassels on it and all that stuff. Like I kept all that. I took all that. Jeff gets all the guns and all the guy shit. So he was like, oh, you're taking all that. I was like, you get the garage. Like, let me have some stuff out of the house. Like, well, you said you didn't want anything. Well, yeah, okay, but I'm here now. 
so it's whatever. Um, yeah, anyway, so Jeff is still on the island. He's got the truck started and he's got to, uh, they're going to transfer the name of the owner and the insurance and all the stuff today. And there's an other older blue pickup that's still up there that my dad's had for like probably 30 or 40, I don't know how old it is, 30 years or more. I don't know what year it is. Uh, maybe it's from the 80s, maybe it's 40, I don't know. Anyway, and the battery's dead. And Jeff's like, well, we'll just go get a battery and put it in. It's like, holy shit, like, is it even drivable? Like, did the rats gnaw out all of the electrical in that too? Because they got into the trailer and it's like, he has this massive fifth wheel and apparently it was worth like, they were gonna put a $12,000 value on it. And then they had it looked at and it's not worth anything. Like, drag it to the dump because all of the um, electrical and all the PVC piping, all of it is just, and it's just a big rat's nest. So it's, you know, it was never ventilated properly. Yeah, like it's a disaster. It's, yeah, anyway, it's just a... Anyway, uh, I gotta clear my mind about all this. I'm happy I'm gonna get home. Jack's coming home this afternoon, I'm sure. I don't know why my GoPro shuts off like that. I should investigate. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the car anyway. And um, <laughs> wrap this vlog section up. I do have a big ride with my bike club tomorrow. So I don't feel like going at this point. I really don't. So if I get up and go to it, great. If I don't, I don't. I might just need an extra day. <laughs> I'm not gonna get any more fit between now and next week anyway, so. Anyway, okay, see you later.